Alright, is it working? Yep, it appears to be on. So, I am here with a different kind of video today. I'm here on the tier maker and I'm going to make a tier list. You see I have all the flying types here and I'm going to make a tier list. We have S tier being the best down to F here, which is garbage. Uh, flying types that are making, it would make good air rides. So, here's the rules. No megas. So, uh, mega pincer here is already out. No Gigantamax, so Gigantamax Corviknight's not here. And um, we're using only final forms, so these are all the fully evolved ones here. And so the rules are, which Pokemon, so Darcha here doesn't count either, which Pokemon would be good rides if you were able to attain them in real life using real life standards. So let's go ahead and get started. So Lugia here is going straight to the S tier because I'm biased. It's big, it's bulky, it's built like an A10 and make a very, 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 very stable ride. You can see it's got these nice long wings and be up there forever. It's awesome. And uh, it was a good ride in the Pokemon movie, that being said. Lugia's length, according to the Pokedex, is, let's see, 5.2 meters. Does that count the tail, which is, um, okay, here we go. 5.2 meters is not, whoops. Did that wrong. Eight meters. So this uh, little private plane that you see here is actually bigger than Lugia. So yeah, that's about Pokedex size Lugia. That being said, movie Lugia is probably I can type it properly. A heck of a lot bigger than it should be. Movie Lugia is definitely off the scale you see here ash being told to get on that is not the size of a cessna that's a huge bird that's the size of at least a, a you could probably fit two or three on that plane that that plane is huge i mean this bird's huge so yeah you could put like two on the neck and a couple on the back too and with this movie loogie it's huge like i keep saying so um Still, that's not big for an airplane though. That'd be about the size of, uh, just from judging, supposing Ash is a normal child. Maybe the size of a Learjet. A small Learjet. Still not big for airplanes, but... So, turbulence would be a thing, but it's big bulk. 260, 216 kilograms, double the weight of a human. More than double the weight, 400 pounds. It would, um... It wouldn't be the stablest, but it'd be okay. So now let's go to who else is going to be in the S tier? Gyarados. Legends Arc. If you play Legends Arceus, you can see you can fly. It's a nice long mon. It's got a big, uh, yeah, it's big. It doesn't undulate. It's awesome. And it does it get sunny day? Does Gyarados get Lugia gets sunny day. It's also it could handle the weather issues there. You wouldn't have to worry about unstable air turbulence because it could just use sunny day. There's, that's all right, it still goes in the S tier. Let's go with um, Dragonite here. Dragonite's about seven feet, but it flies really fast. I'm gonna put it in the A tier here because the fact that it flies supersonic speeds, if you cannot duck out of the airstream, it would kill you from just the air running in your face, for example. Let's go with Concord here. You've all seen Concord. Concord's the very famous airplane. This is the Concord of Lumach 2. So Concord speed in knots. Mach 2. 220 knots, 1350 miles per hour to knots. You'd be dead up there from lack of oxygen much lower altitudes you'd feel a whole lot more wind it, it would kill you if you kicked out of the airstream so that's why Dragonite's going A because if you are get a big enough Dragonite or you happen to be a small enough human you could probably duck out of the airstream or you could just tell Dragonite to slow down 
so let's go ho oh straight to the S tier. Johto Legends are taking this. Straight to the S tier for ho oh Then it reads Idiomatic lapse rate. 2,000 drops 2 degrees Celsius per 1,000 feet. So as you get higher, it gets colder because of the lapse rate. ho oh is a fire emblem. It can actually take care of that. So ho oh here is going to probably be our champion. Let's see what else we've got going on down here. Evil Tall. I want to put it A, because it's bigger than Lugia and Ho-Oh, but by getting near it, you might die, because that's what its ability is. If, you, if it likes you, maybe it won't kill you, but um, that's why it's an A and not S. Your boy Charizard. Oh boy. Your boy Charizard. What has your boy Charizard got going on for it? Your boy Charizard is 90 kilograms, 5 feet. So you could get a big enough Charizard to reasonably be a good ride. I want to put it A tier, because I guess it can keep you warm, it can keep you up there. It's not as good as Dragonite, but it'll be alright. So let's go with what's next Zapdos. Go with Zapdos here. What's Zap Zapdos, five feet, 52 kilo kilograms, and apparently it summons storms. So that's not none of that's really good for your stable ride. So I'm gonna put Zapdos. Um, we're gonna make Zapdos mid tier. Not good, not bad. Could be better. Could be worse. Yeah, it's gonna be mid tier. It's not something that I would do. I would ride Braviaries. Let's take both of them at the same time. Masui and Braviary. And normal Braviary. I'm going to go both A tier because we saw Legends Arceus, they did it. But they needed to carry a basket and they could only glide. So assuming you rode on their backs, take Braviary. I'm going to have to knock it down to B tier. I mean, it's not as good as these guys because of size. But it can get the job that we saw in Legend Garcia, so we're gonna have to stay keep Braviaries on the B tier here. Um Dodrio has no wings, but somehow still flies. That being said, I think it's like what, six feet tall? Assuming it could fly, you could ride this, but it would be a very much um I'm gonna put it here. D tier. You wouldn't be able to use it outside of clear weather because any, with its size, a light, anything more than a light breeze, and you'll find Dodrio flying. You'll just knock Dodrio, and you'll be flying sideways instead of straight forward. And it'll be, let's just put it this way: if you're riding a Dodrio with anything more than a light breeze, I hope you didn't eat lunch because you'll be giving it back rather quickly. Why is Zapdos up here? Because it can presumably somehow affect the weather. Uh, let's go with Moltres. I'm going to put it eat here. It might make a good ride, but it's on fire. So if you could get away from that, sure, but it being on fire is kind of a big deal. And it's just another ho o -Oh, so ho o -Oh does everything Moltres can do ride wise and without burning your butt. So yeah, Moltres goes deed here. Let's go with let's see, who should I put next? Uh, oh boy. Talonflame? It's warm, but not big enough. It's three feet long, so it's gonna stick it on the F tier. It's still too small. Where's Pidgeot? Pidgeot, I'm sorry, also goes in the F tier. Why? Same reason that you would not want to ride a Dragonite. It is simply too fast. Let's take a look at Pidgeot's Pokedex entry. 4'11", so 5 feet tall. And it flies at, what does it say? Mach 2 speed. So that is the speed of our friend, the Concorde. In miles per hour, that's how flies fast it flies. So that much wind is going to be blowing in your face when riding a pitch up, it's only 5 feet tall. And you're not going to be, it's not big enough so you could duck out of the airstream. So it's going to potentially rip your skin off at best, if you're riding a Pidgeot, but it's just too fast. Nope, I'm sorry, Pidgeot fans, it's F tier. You don't want to ride this thing, it's like you don't want to ride Talonflame. 
Uh, let's see. Let's go. Galarian forms of light. Rayquaza. I'm gonna put it in mid tier. This is probably gonna piss a lot of people off. Rayquaza's big. But have you seen Rayquaza flying? So, when you're doing real flying, something called the vertical velocity, you kinda have to pay attention to. That's how fast you're climbing or descending. Rayquaza being a long stake, it undulates. So, Rayquaza flying, it, it undulates. Like the body goes up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. So, throughout the whole flight, you are experiencing constant changes in vertical velocity. If you're on an airplane, you know that it feels like your stomach is going up and down and up and down and up and down. Well, deal with the weather, but you might still give your lunch back because of all the ups and downs. So, it's gonna go mid tier. Uh, let's see. Um, who other? What other mantine can it even really fly? It's huge, but it just a, yeah, F tier. I'm sorry, it can't really fly. Um, Scyther. Man, no megas, so we're not gonna do that. Scythe third. <sighs> Let's go with the unpheasant line, the unpheasants. So that's 29 kilograms. Yeah, it's too light. That would um get bullied by the wind. But you could reasonably ride it. That's like Dodrio. Except not as big. So unpheasant would have to go eat here for me. It's something that you wouldn't really want to ride. Because it's it would get bullied by the wind. Uh, let's see. Oricorio, all or Oricorio forms. I have to put them here because they're too small to ride. And I'm not going to put all the small ones in because, I mean, yeah. Skarmory. Let's take a look at Togekiss first. Togekiss seems reasonably big enough. 411, good 5 feet, 38 kilograms. Oh, that's light. That's light. No one's going to get bullied by the wind. So uh, I'm going to make that E tier because of size and weight gonna get bullied by the wind when you're flying that thing and that, that's not what you want it's good unstable air the lapse rate doesn't have any fire to kind of boost it if you fly near mountains this thing is if you're going fast if you're going slow it's gonna get bullied because mountainous air is unstable because the airflow is bending around the mountains so yeah star raptor star raptor larry sig Minior, I'm not even going to put it on the list. But Firo, um, it's got a huge wingspan though, so I'll make it C tier. If you can get a reasonably big enough one to ride, I suppose it would be okay. Because of its wingspan, it could hold you, I suppose. But like these mods, I don't think anyone's going anyone's gonna to beat these. And yes, I am biased. How Lucha? Yeah, excuse me. Skarmory! Let's take out Skarmory. Skarmory might be a good ride mod. Oh yeah, 50 kilograms, 5. If you could get past its sharp feathers, like put a saddle on it, Skarmory would be pretty good. I like Skarmory as a ride mod. Skarmory can go right here with Braviary in the B tier. Uh, this is a little, I don't know. But these three tiers I like. So you can go right here at Brave Area and the B tier. Let's check out Articuno, our last Kanto legendary. <laughs> 5 feet, 54 kilograms, 100 pounds. I mean, you're gonna get bullied by the wind, yeah, but supposing Articuno has to. I think we should get a big enough one, so I'll make it. to go B or A tier? I want to get a B tier. I'm gonna put it beat here because of these guys could all reasonably be bigger, especially Evelt all here. It would S B S tier except for the fact that it could possibly kill you. Um Dragon Knight's too fast, Charizard could reasonably be big enough. Articuno Let's move it up to the eight here. Because it could reasonably be as big as Charizard. And I guess because it's an ice. Maybe it's used to flying in the wind. I mean, you're gonna feel it still. We'll make Articuno A tier though. Zapdos C tier because of its size. Um, Bombardier. That might be an interesting one. Check out Bombardier. Bombardier. I think so you get one that's like the six footer, maybe five pounds. It carries rocks normally. It's 
so it's pretty strong bird it's got size it might get a little wind bullying so we'll make it beat here we'll make bumbird here the beat here celestila we're not putting that up there um aerodactyl let's take a look at aerodactyl We'll, we'll put Cramorant actually in the don't ride tier. And we'll say it's there because it's too holy. Jump Luff. Don't ride it. Uh, Drifloon. Let's see, let's try uh, What's this? Typing just. Is this typing just flying? Does it get access to fly? Gets access to gust, air slash. Aerial Ace, Air Cutter. It does get access to fly. Tropius apparently can fly. That's interesting. It's also a six footer, weighs 100 kilograms. I'm gonna have to put Tropius. I'm sorry, you can ride Tropius. It is rideable. It's a little too small to go into the ride these tier. It's Corvidite's just sturdy. That's all. Tropius is rideable. Okay. Let's see. Some of these are just don't make any sense. Like, I'm not going to put Shaman through that. Altaria is... Let's try it. Jugulus. Jug... Uh, that's it in feet. I want meters. 1.5 meters, 411. So, if you get a big enough Salamence, I suppose you could do this. Given that Pokemon have size variation. I suppose he's rideable. Um, if you get a big enough one, oh, it's naturally bulky. Yeah, 100, 102 kilograms. Yeah, it's bulky. Salamence is rideable. Salamence can go there. Um, let's see. You know, Omega's Minior. Do I. Okay, just, just gotta get some of these out of the way. For reasons. Okay. Let's see. Butterfree and Vavillion might have some pride. I think it's literally a rocket, so yeah. It goes into the long haul transporters tier. You can stay right where it is. Um. This one doesn't, I'm not going to put you, no Galarian forms, no Megas, Pelipper. Yard Flyer. Alright, these are all out because of Galarian forms not using, not fully evolved, no Megas. Alrighty, so this is my final tier list. So long haul transporters, these three tiers are the ones you want to focus on if you want to take a nice air ride in the Pokemon world, especially this tier. And yes, Gyarados is here as a serious thing. Cramorant is, you don't want to ride it because it's too holy. Why would you want to ride something this holy? Just, just don't do it, don't ride the Cramo. Okay, um, yeah. Tropius is surprising. I was not expecting it to be as big as it is. It's rideable. Pidgeot down here is too fast. It would, you would die from riding it. Mantine probably can't fly that well. Dragonite had the same problem as Pidgeot, except Dragonite's big enough that you could reasonably, if the sizes were right on your you and your Dragonite, you could probably duck out of the airstream. That would kill you, because it's flying so fast. We've already seen these guys do work, so they get the can-do work here. We've watched Gyarados fly. Gyarados is a big dragon thing, so you can just go back here and just fly it around like a snake. Rayquaza, it undulates when it flies. So, uh, wait a second. Haven't we seen somebody ride a Rayquaza? Oh, we've got the rideable. Just the vertical speed issue with the snake body. You would have to, um, choose if you want to do that or not. But Lugia, Gyarados, Ho, Corvo Knight, and Celestila, because reasons. Definitely, if you want to ride, ride these. So go catch yourself a Magikarp. Get yourself a rookie D, or evolve them, work them up, you have yourself some nice ride Pokemon. So that's it.
And I think eh, any of these would do as well. This one, writable if it can like you. So just don't make it hate you, otherwise you would die. So actually it'll move you down to maybe. Because as long as I'm not... You can get, it gets sucked the life out of you, you don't want that. So move you down to maybe. So again, so this looks much better. I like the look of these. Okay, yeah. The two Braviaries, Bombardier, Skarmory. This, if you get a big boy Charizard, why not? Articuno, probably handle the win. Yeah, this is looking pr pretty good. These guys would get wind bullied if you tried flagging them because they're not big enough. I mean, again, the, the biggest mod on here is Gyarados. So how 